In China, leaders there today approved an economic blueprint for next year. According to The Wall Street Journal, the plan was laid out in a closed-door meeting of senior party officials. The plan attempts to reduce industrial overcapacity and cut the stockpile of unsold homes, all in an attempt to restart growth. Specific details aren't expected to be released until March, when that country's legislature convenes. But as Eunice Yoon reports from Tangshan, China, the steel sector of the world's second-largest economy is also struggling. Outside a government office in the biggest steel town in China, a face-off between police and workers like Chen Xinhua, who demand payment after a steel plant here shut down. We want our back pay and our medical insurance, he says. We're not asking for much. Thousands of workers lost their jobs at the Tangshan Songting plant, one of numerous mills that have gone under across the country. Already this year, China Steel Association estimates the industry has lost nearly $9 billion. And these people say that the factory has turned its back on them, so now they're pinning all of their hopes on the government. But the authorities seem more concerned about silencing them and us rather than listening to the workers' concerns. Tangshan is home to more than 300 steel mills. In recent times, it's turned out beams and coils for China's roads, bridges and new properties, producing more steel than the entire United States. But with the economy slowing down, the city's once mighty industry is stalling. Too many factories competing for too little demand. Some state-owned factories, we're told, are running at a loss, shipping excess products overseas at extremely low prices, while many private companies like Tangshan Songting go idle. Chun worked in his plant for nearly three decades, earning as much as $500 a month. Entire families work in the same plant, multiple generations, he says. Together, they could make a monthly salary of $1,500. Now they have zero. His health ailing, Chun believes the government should step in to bail out his employer, a former state-owned company which the authorities had encouraged to go private a decade ago. It was a mistake to make it a private company, he says. We used to be guaranteed jobs. No longer the case in China's slowing economy. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eunice Yoon in Tangshan.